Like, oh my gosh, I'm emotional. and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video. I started making luxury um, essentials and must-have videos about this time last year and you guys really love them and I can't tell you how much fun it is scouring the web to find the most beautiful luxury pieces to show you. And in today's video, I have to say, I think I have outdone myself. Like I'm even starting to contemplate how I even considered my life was complete before these things arrived into it. So as you guys know, I have had a long-term partnership with Farfetch, which is just a dream come true for me because they are just the best place for designer and luxury shopping. They just have so much on there, literally every single brand that you could think of. There's something for everyone. And I also really love how they support independent boutiques from all around the world. So when you buy an item, it will basically get shipped from an independent boutique somewhere in the world. So it could come from Italy, Portugal, Australia, and that's why I love shopping there. So most of the items in this video, except for a couple, are from Farfetch, so I'll link everything down below in the description box, and don't forget, I will also have a discount code that I will put on the screen now, so you can get 10% off your order. They also have a Freddy Farfetch wish list, which will be linked down below so you can see even more of my top picks. But for now, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I have to show you today is a bag. When I saw this, my heart skipped a beat. Lots of you will already know that my Dolce & Gabbana Sisley bag is one of my most favorite bags that I own. It's just so elegant and classic. It's versatile, you can wear it all year round. Such a beautiful color and it's just to die for. And some of you will also know that one of my favorite trends for autumn winter this year is quilting. So what do you get when you put quilting together with the D&G Sicily bag? You get this absolute work of art. Is that not just the most perfect bag you've ever seen in your life? Everything that I love about the D&G Sicily bag is exactly the same. It's the same shape, the same like handle structure the same size. You've also got that amazing neutral color that's just gonna go with every single outfit, but with this really cool and up-to-date new look, and I'm just obsessed with it. I also really wanted to point out my more classic D&G Sisley bag because I think it really is the most perfect bag for all year round, but especially for autumn winter, because I feel like where in summer I can get away with like a really cute small little crossbody or over the shoulder bag. In winter, I like to have more things with me. Like I just need a bigger bag in winter and this is just the perfect size. And you can also wear this crossbody as well. There is a strap. And I know one of my biggest pieces of advice to you guys when it comes to luxury shopping is don't go for trends. Go for classic staples that will last you a long time because obviously trends come and go. But I do feel like this bag is an exception because although quilting is a trend currently for clothing, quilting in bags is definitely a classic. I mean, look at Chanel bags. Quilted leather has been on accessories for years. So I do still feel like it is a classic purchase. And I'm just so excited about this bag. I think all my designer bags, like my top kind of three, my Chloe Drew, my Pochette Matisse and my Sicily, are just my favorite bags in the world and nothing else seems to match up to them. So this is just amazing, especially as I know that I already love and use my Sicily bag so much. So I wanted to show you both bags as an autumn winter must have. They also have them in other colors. They have like a more vibrant baby, candy pink. They have a nice like burgundy, I think a deep green, black of course. So whatever your main wardrobe color scheme is, you would definitely find one to match it. And I just think it is spectacular. Next is of course a pair of sunglasses. If you watched my video from two weeks ago, my top 10 classy girl essentials, you'll know how I feel. I think an outfit is not complete without a pair of sunglasses and the right pair can just totally elevate and accentuate your entire look. Now, my favorites are of course my Tom Ford ones that I usually show you, but I realized that the link that I've been using is out of date and I couldn't really find a more up-to-date link. So I thought I'd find you guys an alternative and these are actually much cheaper, which is always good. So these ones are from Tiffany, which is really funny because my signature pair of cat eyes before my Tom Ford ones were from Tiffany, but these are definitely a step up. I feel like they've improved the quality a lot. I tried to find a pair that were really, really similar to my Tom Ford ones. So they are a tortoiseshell cat eye. Look at the Tiffany blue on the inside as well. How pretty is that? They look absolutely great. Um, my Tiffany sunglasses were plastic, even though they were over 200 pounds, but these are, I mean, they still have plastic on them, but they're more metal. They're much better quality than my old ones. And I think they look absolutely amazing. They're just the perfect everyday sunglasses, all the winds, all weather, you can wear them all year round. And when you have the right pair, you only really need the one pair that you can wear with everything. I mean, I wear mine all the time. I don't leave the house without them because they just add so much to the look like 
you can't deny it. Okay, next I have a couple of coats to share with you and I am so, so excited. Basically, I stumbled across this brand on Instagram like a year ago called Santini Couture and I thought that they had the most beautiful coats I had ever seen in my life. Just think old Hollywood glamour. I mean, it was just everything that I could have dreamt of in a coat. And I actually ran into the owner of the brand, literally like on Oxford Street. Um, and I could just tell, like she was just dressed so beautifully. I was like, you are my kind of person. And she was just so lovely. And she is doing this all by herself, which I think is so empowering and amazing and inspiring. And I'm just so excited to show you her coats. I guarantee you're going to fall in love with them. So you may have noticed the first one on my mannequin. This is the Gone With The Wind cape coat. So they do this in a few different colors. I think white, maybe gray, like really lovely neutral classic colors. This is the camel color, which I know looks slightly pink because of all the pink in my room and the lights. It makes everything look pink. And as soon as you touch it, you can feel the quality. It is so, so beautiful. The outer is all wool, but it's a really soft, like luxurious wool, not itchy at all. And then the cuffs and the collar are beautifully soft vegan fur. It just feels so luxurious, like out of this world. And wait till you guys see it on. Oh! so excited to show you. I think this is the most Freddy coat I've ever, ever seen in my life. Like, oh my gosh, I'm emotional. It's just everything that I love and want in my fashion and my style. It's just so glamorous. It's effortless. It's classic and timeless. It's Hollywood. It's winter Hollywood, which is ironic because you would never, ever wear a coat like this in Hollywood, even in December. It's just spectacular, it's so me. Like, I'm just beyond in love with it. I think I'm going to be wearing this every single day during winter and absolutely nothing else. Forget anything I've ever told you about any other coat or jacket before because this is my favorite one in the world. And then the next coat that she gave me is one from her new collection for this year, which is this beautiful like ivory wool coat. Oh my gosh, it's just the most gorgeous color. It's so wintry and chic and it's got these beautiful like statement pearl buttons, which I just think are so glamorous and elegant. And it's just the most beautiful quality like it really does just feel superior as soon as you touch it you know that you have something special it's just absolutely perfect it's honestly like it was made for me because all of the details that I would want in a coat this has like you know I don't like my sleeves too long this cuts off at the perfect length also the length of the coat in general I find it really hard to find nice like short mini length coats. It's just so stunning and so ultra feminine and classic and it's simple yet statement. Everything that I love about style, I mean, it just ticks all of the boxes and I feel like this again is just Freddy in a coat. I'm telling you now, I have officially peaked when it comes to my coat collection because I don't see how I could ever find any coats that I would love as much as these two. So make sure you guys follow the brand on Instagram and check out the website. I just think it's so amazing to be a young woman and create such a beautiful brand from scratch by yourself. I mean, it's so inspiring to me. And I'm just so happy to show you guys her beautiful coats and so excited to wear them this autumn winter. Next, I have a couple of pairs of boots to show you. Can you possibly guess where they're from? Yes, of course, it is Stuart Weitzman. I don't know how they do it, but just like Santini Couture with the coats, this brand tick all of the boxes for me when it comes to boots. You guys know in autumn, winter, I pretty much only wear boots and especially over the knee boots. And I'm so fussy with them. I look high and low. I've tried on hundreds of pairs over the last three years. And obviously here and there, you'll try and find cheaper alternatives and dupes. But the one thing I've never been able to find is the perfect pair of brown suede over the knee boots and I think it was last year and the year before that actually that I was so frustrated because I couldn't find any boots that I really loved. There are so many factors to look into like toe shape, heel height, also a lot of over the knee boots really don't fit well on the leg so you want ones that are going to fit really nicely and I was fully prepared to go and buy the Stuart Weitzman ones but two years ago they discontinued brown completely. I even went into the store and they said no there is no brown this year and last year they had a brown but it was more of like a chestnut like orangey brown which is not what I was going for I really wanted the nice deep dark chocolatey brown so when I saw these pop up on Farfetch I was like oh my goodness hallelujah these are the perfect everything like literally everything exhibit a the toe so I don't like a pointy toe I know lots of people do and I think they're very elegant but for me they're just not my thing I don't really want a super round toe either though it's like when you get your nails done and you ask for squarely rounded this is like 
pointed rounded, rounded point. Exhibit B, the heel height. So we all know that I love a heel. I actually don't feel comfortable in flats at all. Like in summer, slipping on a pair of flat sandals is different, but when I'm like dressed up in a proper pair of boots, I actually hate walking on flat feet. It's not good for you. It's actually better to have a little heel and it also gives you that lift, that elegance in your look. But I'm also on the tall side for a girl, so I don't want a giant heel. Also, if I have a pair of boots, I want to be able to wear them for every day and wear them walking around all day and be comfortable. And I also love that they don't have zips, which like all my other boots do on the inside because it really does like kind of ruin that nice sleek line. And then the best bit is the little tie at the back because lots of over the knee boots don't have a tie. You just pull them up and they kind of just sit there. So they can be a little bit baggy around the thigh, which is not a good look. You really want it to be like kind of flush against your leg. And that's why they have this tie and they just fit so beautifully on the leg. They're tight fitting, not too tight, like just absolutely perfect. And they also do half sizes as well. And although they are really expensive, I think when you first see how much they are, you're like quite taken aback, like, oh my God. But honestly, for me, I know how much I wear these. I wear them every single day that I leave the house during autumn, winter. And I think this is my fourth year doing that. So it's not something that has gone out of style. It's not a trend that's like come and gone. It's something that I know I'm going to love and wear like for years and years and years. So when you think of it like that, um, and you break it down from like cost per wear, which is Josie's tip, and then you kind of realize, okay, yes, that would be worth it. And for me, it is totally worth it. And I'm so excited. Hello. Oh, hi. And then more for autumn rather than winter, although you could totally do these in winter. I've been thinking a lot, guys, about the whole tight scenario. And I've seen a lot of pairs of brown tights on Calcedonia, ASOS. So I'm actually going to try and expand my horizons this winter and go for some brown tights with some brown ankle boots. And they're pretty much the same as the over the knee ones, except the toe is slightly more pointed, which I think is actually really pretty. And the heel is ever so slightly higher, but it's also a much daintier heel as well. The over the knee ones have more of a block heel, which is really, really comfortable. And these look a little bit more elegant and feminine. And I just love the way these look on your feet. Now, I am not taking any credit for being ahead of trends, except I am. But I have really loved um, like sock boots way before sock boots boots were a thing or trendy. When I've shopped for boots, I've always looked for something that's gonna be really, really tight round my ankle and blend seamlessly into your leg because if you are wearing tights, especially actually, it can be so flattering. It can make your legs look so long. It's just like one long fluid line. And this is exactly what these do because they are so tight around the ankle. And I just think everything about them is perfect. It's the most beautiful, deep, rich, chocolatey brown color that's just gonna go with everything. So yes, I'm obsessed with these boots. I think they are absolute timeless classics. When has a suede ankle boot ever not been in style in autumn, winter? Literally never. So you know you can get these and you will wear them like for the rest of your life. So next, okay, I know I don't normally shop for luxury clothes. I usually say to you guys, stick to your bags and shoes, accessories, coats, like the last step, but for your clothes, just shop high street. However, you guys know the struggle that I have found over the years in finding great autumn, winter skirts and shorts. In spring, summer, you will find so many beautiful skirts, loads of gorgeous pairs of shorts, but in winter, I just find everything is so uninspiring and I rarely find things that I love, which is why when I do find something like the Topshop, like denim brown skirt, I wear it all the time, I wear it constantly because it's a staple. So when I saw these, it's again a little skirt. I was like, I have to show everyone these because um, I really believe in when you find something that's fabulous, you have to grab onto it because you won't find it again. So many of my followers comment and message saying they wish they'd just bought that Topshop Idol skirt because it's so fabulous um, and they've never been able to find anything like it since and I totally get it. So even though these are more luxury, I mean, it's Sandro, it's not like Gucci, Gucci prices, but it's also very much not Topshop prices. When it's something as classic and timeless as this, it's worth spending the money on because you will wear it so, so much and you'll bring it out 
every single winter. So let's pop these on. So this is what they look like on. The fit is absolutely perfect. It's so nice and snug around the waist, which really accentuates your shape. And then you've got these beautifully structured pleats. And you know, that's just heaven to me. In fact, when I die, I think everyone will be saying, I hope she's in a better place now, where there's structured pleats and balloon sleeves. The pattern is really classic. It's that very British like heritage check, which never really goes out of style. And where it's such a neutral color, you can wear it with pretty much any color top, like all colors across the neutral spectrum. Pink would look really lovely. There's even a little bit of blue in there and also a little bit of like orangey brown, which is why it looks great with this top. And honestly, just take it from me because I know when you have something like this that goes with everything that always looks good, you end up wearing it so, so much. Just like my old Topshop shorts and just like my white Zimmerman shorts in summer. And when you think about how much the Zimmerman shorts cost, well, this is practically a steal. And then the final must have for this video, you may have spotted it sitting there on my rail. I was only going to show one bag, but then I actually couldn't resist showing this to you. I just thought it was spectacular. I'm so into Prada bags right now. Like I think Prada is probably one of my top designers when it comes to bags. And I just think this is so cool. It's like a canvas tote bag with these really nice brown leather straps. And it has this like faded printed logo, which I think gives it a very like low key effortless look. And I just think for a nice everyday bag, like just holding it like this, or you could even like go under the shoulder with it. And there was just something about this that I really, really loved and had to show you. And although this is an autumn winter must haves video, I do think that this would carry really well into spring summer because it does have a slightly beachy look. Like I think it depends on how you style it. You could so style this with like a white broidery dress um, and sandals and make it beachy. But then at the same time, look how fabulous it goes with this very brown autumnal look, brown over the knee boots, maybe even whack the hat on, the cape and then the bag as the finishing touch. Like it's just spectacular. So guys, that is sadly it for today. That was so, so much fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.